Welcome, friends, to a new series, Pillars of Eternity. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm Clobberstomp. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if you guys like old school RPGs, this one was made with that in mind. Now, we're going to play some other old school RPGs um, later this year, um, 2017 and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys checked out my lineage series, that's been a lot of fun as well. So Five I hope wagons you... grope oh, blindly well, right. for the path on a starless night. Their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you Gilded among them, vale. where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Awesome. So it looks like we are stuck. All right, we are going to be a male. We are going to, ooh, an Orlan. Look at that guy. He's cute. <laughs> a godlike dexterity one, intelligence one. Sweet. I like this guy. He's cool. We're going to be that guy. Next. A fire godlike, a death godlike. Whoa. A moon godlike. Whoa. Whoa. And a nature god like. Oh, nature dude. I kind of like the fire guy. That's kind of why I chose him. We're going to be the fire guy. A body type, a human. Ooh, an Amana. Amawa. An elf. An Orlan or a dwarf. I think gods need to be huge, so I think we're going to be an Al Almawa. And, ooh. A barbarian, a chanter, a cipher. What is that? Pretty cool. Ciphers. Uh, ciphers can directly target allies, enemies, powerful. You know what? Let's do. Let's do. Let's be a paladin. I know. You know. We'll go with that. And oh. The Bleak Walkers are soldiers dedicated to conducting warfare mercilessly with extreme brutality in order to bring swift end to their conflicts. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. I don't think I even want to read the rest. That's just so cool sounding. Oldest known paladin order in the world, the Paladini, were founded by the guards over 2,000 years ago since Grand Shattering. Yeah, yeah okay. That's very old. God Pack Knights order mercenary paladins who sell themselves for sort of defensive offensive engagements. Okay, so there's a mercenaries uh, uh, for protected travelers. Shield bearers of Saint Ek Ek Elkga. Okay, during negotiate. Yeah, we're we're gonna do bleak walkers because it just sounds cool. Looks like you can choose Lay Hands. Fueled solely by belief, the Paladin is able to heal and touch his sort of hands, covering a substantial amount of endurance for the Paladin and ally in range. Or Flames of Devotion. Calls upon the Paladin's inner fire, causing their equipped weapons to burst into flames. Oh, I dig that. That is cool. We're doing that. And, ooh, we've got five. Okay, so... Might. Physical character, spiritual strength, brute force. We like that. Uh, constitution. I think that's, those are going to be the two that we... Um, divine. Fearlessness. Emotional intensity. Highly recommended for the paladin. So it looks like these are the three. Let's add up... I don't think we need intellect. Not yet, anyways, and we'll do might. Uh, we'll do constitution. Constitution's always important. Culture. 
Largest known powerful force in the world, it's centered around the equator and it has tropical climate. Okay. Nation of Na Nas Kitak. Nazatak, I think. Amawa settlements, hundreds of lawless pirate infested dead fire home, boreal dwarves, Omana. Alright, that's kinda cool. X is a Matil is Matil plains are large expanse of fertile savannas that are this is there's a lot of a lot of stuff to choose from. Oh it chooses your weapons, you change kind of how you look. I think we'll go with the old school um I don't know. Okay, oh, here we go. Perception. Let's go with whatever. Uh, constitution, Intellect, Resolve, plus one. I think we'll do those guys. The Ismatil Plains. That's what we'll do. An Aristocrat. So, Lore, Stealth and Mechanics, Athletics and Mechanics, Lore and Mechanics, Lore, Lore, Athletics and lore, stealth and survival, and stealth and lore. You've made a name for yourself as a troublemaker. Disrespect for authority and lack of care regarding rules, reoccurring themes in your life. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go with a, a hunter. We'll do that. Primary colors. Let's do black and green or black black on black whoa well I kind of want to do that guy what other options do we have okay I like the first one we're gonna do that mail hey there now I am the leader of the group oh you Quietly are now hmm follow me I think we're gonna do that guy oh noble attack the better part I like that, that. Clobber stomp. Get some. All right. Let's get started. Done. Yes. You have unused attributes points for your character. Any unused will be lost. Are you sure you want to? No. What am I missing? Unused attribute points. Oh, I've got 10 more to go. Wow. Okay. And... We'll add one more of each. There we go. Okay, now we're done. Wow, I can't believe I just missed 10. You guys are probably, like, laughing. You're like, damn it, clobber stop. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Journey to Gilded Vale. Look at my dude. He's so cool. Caravan Master Adema. The Caravan Master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering. As if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. Oh. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Okay. Understood? Excellent. Touch of the rumbling rot could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards, oh. unless you don't drink water, of course. Not in which good. case you'll be dead in a day. Dead in a day? Well, that'd be a short There's series, right? There's a berry right? grows in these parts, Hope small not. and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not tenderfoot. like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. <laughs> Kalisha. This guy's awesome. Kalisha! Kalisha. He needs to find some springberries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. 
What kind of guide says something like that? <laughs> Thanks, Kalisha. Kind you can afford. Nice. Don't listen to her. You're All in good money. hands. And I pay too well, if anything. <laughs> Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh Hayden. country. Get your berries and hurry back. Hey, you heard the man. Let's get going Let's before you kill hey, over. Where's Hayden? Caravanner. 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 Let's go over this. Are you Hayden? Hayden. Anyone up, man? need some? I need supplies. There's a dude. whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. All right. To say, is there anything you need? I'd like. I've got some basic oh. traveling supplies for sale. If you'd like to take a look. Let's see what you've got. All right. So, well, I am going to buy myself a sword and a shield and. Some brigadine armor. I don't have 300 CP, do I? Yeah. Padded armor. Potion of regeneration. Let's buy those. Ooh, that we can't accept. Okay. Trade. All right, there we go. And let's take a look. Attack. There's got to be an inventory button. Inventory. I. We've got... Alright. We don't compare. So we've got a medium shield heater and a medium shield heater. They're both the same. I guess we can give that to her. Does she have... She's got a torch. I guess I didn't need to buy those. That was... That was weak. Okay. Well, lesson learned. Didn't really have to do that. Actually, I think I want this instead of the axe. There we go. Okay. Off to off to get started. Let's go find some spring berries. Who's this guy? I'll have your water Sparrow soon fell. enough. Oh, you will. Stream's not going anywhere. All right. Well, thank you, Sparrowfell. Let's check by those outcroppings. All right. Oh, young wolf. Game paused. Slow mode active. Engage your enemies. Whoa. Okay. Yes. Can you just hit them? There you go. There we go. Yeah. Get some, young wolf. Peace out, homie. <laughs> yeah, you're done. All right, there's some spring berries. Nice. We made it. We got the spring berries. What a brilliant start. We're so smart. I hear you're pretty good for a hunter. Don't tell Sparefell, or he'll run his mouth clear to Gilded Vale. Trying to convince how much better he is. I've spent a lot of time living on my own in the wilderness. Yeah? How's it happened you come here? Civilization, Civilization came and spoiled the land. A great fire destroyed everything. I wore out my welcome. They ran me off of this land. I know what that feels like. You can't really trust anyone, can you? Let's get breeze or in our surroundings. Been a long time since I've been this way. But I always did like it. Lord Raedric's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of us? It's hard offer to pass up. You won't be able to find offers like this in these parts, believe me. You got a big plan in store? I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Completely spontaneous, huh? Interesting. Well, there's probably no hurry to make up your mind. They've got it, an inn in Gilded Vale that'll put you up as long as need, or so my sister tells me. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Adamia 
will give me a ear fill. Let's be on our way. All right, let's get back to camp. Stream's just down the way. Come on, let's get you water. Uh, let's go find Sp Sparfell. Looks like. Okay, here water. Yeah, there's some water. Let's see if we can follow the stream. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Oh, what's this? Travelers, maybe looters or bandits. Bad sign anyways, I figure. The corpse is cold to the touch and ripe to the smell. Wafts in a putrid waves. A dark, what? A dark clustered bloodstain besmirches its simple cloth linen. And he doesn't have anything to pick up. All right, those dudes are all dead. Let's go check it out on the other side of the river here and see what's going on. Look this, let's see if we can find Sparfell. What oh. a surprise, Sparfell went hunting. Yep, of course he did. You crouch to the riverbank, dip your water skin into the cool water as Kaliska waits nearby Keeping watch as you rise, you notice a look up towards the tree line. You've gained an item. Full water skin added to your stash. Out of the tree groves emerges Sparfell, one of the guides barely dismibble in dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow and there's strangeness in his gait. And his stride wobbly as he moves towards a labored breath. Sparfell, are you alright? Sparfell's toe catches on a rock, and he collapses forward in a deep feathered shaft, an arrow planted in his shoulder's enemy flag. You want to go? Come get some. Ambush. Going, you're going down. Going down, fools. Let's kill this dude first. All right, you attack this guy. Strange illness. Bartosump has a strange illness, and I have the illness. Injured. Are you gonna go down? Flame of devotion. Peace out, homie. Get some. Oh, can you attack? Probably should have attacked them all at the same time, but this works. Alright, we did it. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Alright, let's get back to camp. We'll get there, don't worry. Let's get our stuff from Sparfell first. Hmm? Alright, let's head back to camp. I think it was up this way. All right. All right, we're making it back to camp, and oh, snap. Glanfathen, leader. All around you lie massacred remains of other travelers prepared with arrows and knives, hilts, bug-eyed and filthy. Kliska puts back her left hand to her mouth, poisonous vapor. Handful of dark figure stands above the fallen, Trending on limbs, backs and forth, jerking their axes from their bodies in half-split logs. One of them, towering and severe, with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man. Recognize Heoden, last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. You do not forfeit this man's life, will not fight. The ruin has not been sullied by our hands, men and ear Glenfath. Your words carry no weight. I've seen the truth in my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. So I say again, lay down your arms. 
Don't trust them. The man will kill us all. We are innocent in this. Will you not listen to reason? Perception, intellect, resolve. Go ahead. Kill him. Do it. The man hesitates. His eye. What kind of coward asks for his own life? An own man to be killed. The kind of who will be enraged by this by no amount of pain will stop him from beating you so savagely that you will carry the disfigurement into your next life. Again he hesitates, looks off to the side, frowning as if re-evaluating his strategy. With a deep breath, man rests you first then. Man sets his feet to engage. His axe is raised. out homie you're about to get stomped clobber stomped peace out goodbye peace out hunter you scored a crit a crit is better result than a hit hits are more likely to occur in attacks accuracy oh nice cool your enemy lies supine on the ground unable to rise his command is now silent among the other dead his breath comes in wheezing, fitful gasps as he looks for you, but the sky is above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, the whisper stirs in the air. At this time, the man's eyes roll back in his head. Good, good, the gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp. Electric volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin where it pierces you. You feel it as though it's rendering you apart from within. Seated against the wagon wheel against the howling maelstorm, slashes. He looks directly at you. Get inside! Run. And we're running inside. Whoa. What is going on here? These must be the evil bad spirits of the land. Not good. Not good. What is that fog that's coming from the area? Stirring against Gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step. Set your hands in the worn fold, weathered rock. Set pulling yourself up precipice. With the last burst of energy your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hid in trails behind you, slowed by injury and delayed by hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who had been feigning death, lunges for Heoden. He topples onto him onto the rocky ground. Restrained, Heoden lashes out uh, his fatigue assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you, despite the wind from your position. You were to throw your weapon at the attacker. It would have a good chance of hitting him. Throw your weapon at the attacker... Requirement not met. Allow heating to break free on his own. I'm gonna throw my weapon. Throw your aim. Your aim is true. Just the hit jars heated and loose. Lurching to his feet, heated and clambers up the base of the rocks. As he nears to the top, however, wind flares, pulling him sideways, tearing one of his hands free. But diving out onto the ro hard rock, you manage to catch hold, securing his other hand. Pull. You pull with waning strength and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Heoden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There's a deep resonance to the swirling wind. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of his own chest as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entry portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Awesome. So, what a journey. This has been a lot of fun. So, okay, let's pause. There we go. We now have Clobberstomp. We've got Kaliska and Heoden. We all seem to be okay. We are unscathed, and we now have ourselves our own little team. Looks like we're going to have to go through this archway and things like that, but we will handle that in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this, Pillars of Eternity, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. I cannot wait. Oh, yeah. If you right-click, you can spin around. 
If you like this episode, stop that like button. It really helps me out. Shows me that you really want to see more of this series. This is going to be really fun. With old school RPGs in mind, we are going to go through this. It's going to be super fun. I know this game is a little bit about a year old, but it's going to be super cool. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am about it. We should go through this journey. If you guys like this, don't forget to like and share on your favorite social media. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.